I'm gonna get my audio from my phone and then like don't look at my room because my shit my shit kind of messy kind of what's up YouTube back with another video you're watching the Trap Life podcast and all that shit I ain't said that in so long what's up YouTube I've been meeting like I've been wanting to shoot a legit YouTube video like me sitting down and you know talking to the fucking camera and also I, i've been wanting to do a podcast for the longest ever since i started this shit back in like 2017 i ain't really i don't know it was just like shit just it kept it kept me from like doing youtube videos like i dropped like three videos and i was gonna keep going like i used to make the video and i would watch the video for like a week before re releasing it go over the edits and shit and then um <clears throat> don't like see if it's funny to me if it's entertaining to me and if i like it i'll post it um i had like a, a nice little run um had a couple of views i think the highest the most views i got on the video is like seven or eight thousand or something like that but i'm trying to get back into it like what is it 2023 that was what 2017 some years bitch but um as you can see on my youtube channel like i've been like back and forth struggling to stay consistent because um what i want to do and all the reason why i'm like really like trying to stay active on all my platforms as far as like tiktok instagram snapchat uh facebook my facebook be dry as fuck but like i mean i can try and you know what i'm saying get that shit up and running and shit i don't really too much fuck with facebook like that but um the whole reason why i'm doing this one my clothing brand i i, I want a a solid fan base to support my brand that's my main thing my clothing brand pomade uh, i'm gonna make a, a video on you know how it started and everything. Cause when I say something about my clothing brand, it's two things people always say is a website and how did I come up with a name and what's the meaning and all that shit. And I really can't speak on it at that time because while I was creating this shit, like, like I really, like when I made Palme, like first of all, that was like the third, as far as like names for my brand, that was like the third option. Um, my first uh, brand name was called First Chief. And then I changed it to Trot Life. And then I decided, before it was Palm Made, it was Palm Apple or something like that, or Palm Appeal. Because I wanted something with palm trees and pineapples in it. Cause I, me, I just like the tropical vibe. Like I like, I love palm trees and I love pineapples and shit. So um, after a while saying pineapple over and over again, I'm like, man, I gotta come up with something. And uh, I would say the biggest influence as far as like the the aid part, you know how on the first aid kit got the little plus sign. So as far as the plus sign, I ain't gonna lie, the biggest influence for that is um, Pink Dolphin. Like I never bought any Pink Dolphin, but like he inspired me to like go into the fashion direction. So um the first thing that influenced me to start my clothing brand was um i used to work at fanatics making like sports fans t-shirts and all that shit and i seen all the machines and shit and i'm like bro i could really put my art on some clothes bro like i could really do this shit myself so i used to take notes on the machines and shit how to, how to operate them screen press uh dtf um heat press all that shit making the screens all that shit like I'm like, bro, I can make my own brand. Um, after that, as far as like the name and shit, I don't know, there's something about Palme and I, it just stuck with me. And I had to switch up the spelling and then I Googled it to see if anybody had Palme. Turns out Palmade, Palmade is f shit for your hair, but my shit is called Palm, P-A-L-M, Aid, A-I-D. Palm to me is like short for palm tree. So it's like a tropical, a tropical vibe to everything. Like anything tropical to me is like, I don't know, it, it brings me peace of mind. So like, I don't know, you just gotta, I can't even explain it because it's, it's, 
I went so into like creative mode when I did the shit. I don't know. Me, per- it's like having ideas is like catching a fish. If you don't reel that bitch in right then and there, when you got it fresh, you might not even get the chance to even get that same idea again. So, um, yeah, that's the main reason why I'm doing this, staying active on all my platforms is, for one, my clothing brand, to build a fan base that's going to, you know, support me and all that shit. I also cut hair. Uh, I cut my own hair. Just trying to, you know, get me, get me, get me a name out there in a way. Um, and also, I'm, I'm to the point where um, I don't want to work for nobody else. And I know that sounds so cliche because everybody say that shit. But it's like me personally, I feel like I understand what and how it feels to be a worker. So now I feel like, you know, now I want to be my own boss. Like I've done almost every fucking job in the work industry from restaurants, warehousing, retail, fucking damn near everything. So like, I understand, like I've been the worker before and now it's time for me to work on being a boss. Like shit, I'm knocking on 30 and I ain't getting no younger. Like, <clears throat> I, I mean, I personally feel like it's about that time. Like, and I understand you gotta walk, crawl before you walk. So, you know, I went through my own trials and, and, and tribulations, but I'm to the point where shit, I want to be my own boss. Like, shit, I feel like I worked for other people enough to get an understanding and to know, like, know your worth. Like, know what you want to do. I feel like I know what I want to do. So it's, it's another reason why I'm working on all these platforms to try and get my name out there and, you know, get my brand name out there. So as time goes on, you know, I, I just hope that all my platforms grow more and more. I'm about to hit 10K on TikTok. Um, finally about to hit about about to hit 3,000 on Instagram. Snapchat, shit. I think I broke Snapchat. I can't even add people if I want to. Facebook, my Facebook be dry as fuck. I don't know if I'm shadow banned on that shit or what, but. I, mean, I low key kind of don't like, don't care, but like I said, I want my 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 name everywhere. Like I want my shit to be known. So um, through this journey of me, you know, doing YouTube, doing my clothing brand, cutting hair and everything, I just hope y'all, you know, support, like, share, follow, all that shit. Support the trap. Support Paul Made Clothing. But yeah, man, y'all be sure to like, share, comment. Subscribe to all my pages. Like I said, it's Trot Life underscore CO on all platforms. And, uh, you know, stay tuned for more shit. I'm working on a podcast, trying to get more equipment. Um, right now, I'm, like, recording with both phones. So I use this for my audio, you know, visuals on that. So hopefully I can get better equipment to do more shit because I got, for this podcast, I got so much shit to talk and it's like I wanted to be on filter, which is why, um, which is why I got an OnlyFans, because I know YouTube would be funny as fuck when it comes to like curse words and music and copywriting and all that dumb ass shit. So that's why I got the OnlyFans. But um, like I said, on all platforms, like like share, comment, subscribe, follow, do what you gotta do, support the tribe.